Hello Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, and today, this is me, John, doing another ramen review video, and today I'm going to be reviewing these two ramens from the company, Mike's Mighty Good Craft Ramen. Now, Mike's Mighty Good Craft Ramen is out of California, the United States. Um, everything they make is from organic uh, ingredients, including their own organic, organic noodles they made from scratch and all the the flavorings and ingredients I believe are also organic and um, so these are labeled as craft ramens um, which is in my mind supposed to make you think that they're uh, you know fresh made uh, locally and you know good ingredients and overall the flavor is supposed to be better and at two dollars and fifty cents to three dollars per pack they should definitely uh, live up to those standards you would hope uh, each one of these are exactly 200 calories it's interesting they got to exa that exact number but anyway i have in this one a spicy beef ramen soup and this one i have a pork tonkatsu ramen soup so in order to cook these you they have a fill line in here. You can either fill it up the with, line with water and then microwave it, or you can uh, heat up some water, which is what I did. I heat up some water, then fill it up to the line. Let it sit. Then each one of them, they have two things. They have this packet of uh, powdery substance, and they have like a little clear packet, packet of a flavored oil. Now, I gotta, I gotta tell you, like when I first looked at these, they feel very light, and then when you open it up, the noodle block also looks quite small. So I was kind of disappointed when I first opened it. It didn't look like much. Now, after filling it with water and letting it steep, the noodles expanded quite a lot. So I'm going to just pour this into a bowl so you can see it better. The spicy beef. As you can see, that fills up this bowl quite nicely. Now this was probably like less than half that size inside this this it was probably like down to here and it wasn't even filling the whole circumference. It was probably a quarter of an inch off of each each side of that and less than half of the size of bowl. <coughs> but now they've seemed to grow a lot. And I'm gonna also pour in the pork tonkatsu into this other bowl I have so you can see the contrast of color there we go. pork tonkatsu spicy beef Um, so as you can see, the be spicy beef one is a little bit more reddish orange. Pork tonkatsu is more of a white uh, color, and that's what I expect from a pork tonkatsu actually, because pork bone broth is usually that creamy color. Another thing that I should tell you is immediately when I put the the powder and the oil into the hot water, the, the smell was just amazing. Like it really reminded me of. Uh, really good ramen that you buy at the uh, like real ramen shops and uh, let's go ahead let's try the spicy beef one first And the noodles are a little softer than I would like. The flavor is good. You get just a taste of the soup. There is a richness to it that you don't get from much instant ramens. From like an unctuousness. Um, the spices there are not overwhelming, but definitely you can taste it. 
uh, yeah, I was kind of disappointed looking at it, but when it's made together, it actually tastes really good. My only complaint being that I wish the noodles had a little more bite, bite to it. On each of the ramen cups, it also gives you like instructions like what's some good add-ons. This one it says sliced beef, fried garlic, onions and chilies, eggs, green onion, and bok choy. And it does have like a picture in the front where like it has all those things on it as well. But by itself, it's pretty good. It's definitely like a an eight point nine out of ten, I would say. The beef one. Now let's try the tonkatsu. Now tonkatsu pork is one of my favorite flavors of ramen to get. So, kind of have a little bit of a high standards for this. Let's see how it tastes. Again, noodles a little bit too soft. But the broth in this one is actually pretty good. Um... It's the best tonkatsu flavored instant ramen I've ever had. It's still, uh, it's not as good as something you're going to get in the store, but uh, the flavor, it's pretty well on point. I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10. Uh, probably just because I have a little bit higher expectation for a tonkatsu flavor. It is pretty porky. Um, this the soup in this one is actually a little bit more stick to you than this one which is what I was hoping this one would have more of um, because whenever I get the pork tonkatsu it always has a really stickiness to it and although better than most it's uh, not quite what I was expecting so are these things worth 250 at first I didn't think so but I'm starting to lean towards yeah 250 a pack, not that bad actually um, for what you get. The noodles expand out a lot, so when you first open it, you might think that you're getting gypped, but they do uh, hydrate very well. And uh, again, on the back of this one, gives you a little bit of instructions what to add. Sliced pork, green onion, woodier mushrooms, egg, and bamboo shoots, and I think that's probably what they have here in the picture as well. Um, if you go on this website, you can see what stores in your area might carry them. You can also buy them, excuse me, directly from their website. They have sample packs in case you want to try them all. And yeah, I do recommend that you go out and try these. The Mighty Mike's, Mighty Mike, eh, Mike's Mighty Good Craft Ramen. These two flavors, also pretty good. Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy yourselves, and until next time, bye.